Alrighty, YouTube Misfits, we're gonna do a YouTube exclusive run today. I'm really excited. We're gonna be playing some Bagante. Um, I recently uh, picked up Vagante again, and it got its hooks stuck in me again. Um, this is a game that came out back in 2018. It got full release, and then it was in early access for a long time before that. Um, but it's also getting a breath of, you know, new life. I think it's about to hit consoles tomorrow, uh, actually, or the time you're seeing this, probably today. Um... And so it's going to get a lot of new players. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people don't even not are they're not aware of this game, or maybe you know maybe you normally game on console, so you didn't really you know it never really caught your attention. I think this is slowly becoming one of my favorite RPG roguelikes. Um, to kind of put it where it sits, it's you know if you're familiar with games like Splunky and stuff like that, it's probably right up your alley. It has the platforming. It has the you know just as brutal you can instantly die you're gonna have to learn from your mistakes things like that um but if you mix it with like a traditional a traditional turn-based roguelike so things like um identifying potions and figuring out what potions are good what potions are bad um unidentified items that could be cursed and not cursed you know things that you would normally find in a traditional roguelike and you cram that with splunky you get vagante and it's it's so freaking beautiful this game is amazing i, I can't recommend it enough um, every time I play it, I'm always learning something new. Uh, the game gets deeper and deeper. So I just want to share some of that fun with you guys. We'll be playing today. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, we're going to be playing with a uh, like a reskin mod. Uh, it won't change into the balancing or anything like that. It's more just a um, just changes the way everything looks. It's a uh, texture pack, more or more or less. It doesn't really change anything else. So if you're wondering why the game looks different, that's why. Um, I'll try to put the uh, where I've, um, where to get the mod down below in case you guys are curious. Uh, just let me know. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, let's jump into Vagante. If you guys have any questions, always let me know down in the comments. We'll get to all, all of you. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy, man. Like I said, I've been I've been really enjoying this game. I think you guys are going to dig it. I'll try to give, um, since this is my first video on uh, YouTube for Vagante, I'll try to give some beginner tips and things like that in case you've seen the game for the first time. Or maybe you're visiting this and you're already a fan of Vagante and you're just looking for some cool gameplay and tips. So I'll try to hit both spots. Um, that's all I got. Let's get started. Doo, doo, doo. You can see a little bit of a visual overhaul if you are used to the game. I'm um, still unlocking some of this stuff myself here. We're going to be picking our starting character. Um, I don't know what we're going to do for this video. I haven't really thought about it ahead of time. I think, um, let's do a rogue build. Rogue has been a lot of fun. Let's see. Let's be somebody cool. Yeah, this guy looks really cool. So here we're going to pick a starting background. Um, Just kind of like a starting perk. You get to pick one. Uh, you unlock more and more. Um, you know, kind of like just a, like a starting trade or something like that that can kind of get your run kick started. Uh, I don't know where we're gonna go yet. Maybe we lean on, uh... Maybe we go like a ranged build to start. Not a ranged build, but bonus range damage? Increased range damage? Yeah, we'll take that. I don't know if we'll actually find a good ranged weapon or anything like that, but we also get some light radius on it. It looks really pretty. We can see further. Um, yeah, let's get started. Hope you guys enjoy. One of the squishier starting classes, starting with 80 HP. A little shiv. Yeah, let's do this, man. I'm ready. All right, here we go. I will try to give little points and tricks as we go. But yeah, what you're going to get here is a platformer, uh, roguelike, randomly generated. Changes every time, and death is always around the corner. If you're familiar with other games in the genre, you will die a lot, and you will learn from your deaths, is the name of the game here. Nothing to get salty about. I used to die. I used to have a hard time just getting out of the first couple levels. And as you progress, you're going to learn from your mistakes and get better and better. For instance, these spikes. Landing on these spikes will instant kill you, no matter how much HP you have. Oof. Nice. Oh, okay. So I, I caught an arrow over there in the in the wall. I'm running a trigger it, just so I don't have to worry about it. Sometimes arrows will fall out of the uh, wall and not break, so you can pick them back up. Nope. So you can see I'm just doing a little hit and run tactics here. Try not to trade damage. I want to hit them. I don't want them to hit me. Hm. Hello, slimy. Uh. Hmm. 
Let's see. Hello, friend. How about an arrow? I don't think you like that too much. Again, we are using a faster weapon. If you look at my inventory here, we're going to be dealing with a lot of inventory management, stuff like that. It makes the game very fun. We'll get all types of loot throughout the run. You can already see we have a couple scrolls. Magic rod. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and equip this. Hopefully it's not cursed or anything. Cool. Okay. We'll use that at some point. You can see we're just using a very fast attack. It's very weak, but also it swings very fast. I think this is the scholar. Um, throughout the game, you're going to find a lot of different totems, things like that. They all do different things. Here we could sacrifice uh, scrolls and books and try to get, um, and trade it in, essentially, for better loot or different loot. I am playing with a controller, so holding left bumper and then hitting the face buttons will change my items. Ah, I spotted another trap. This guy likes to pop out of the ground. Don't be scared, they only do a little bit of damage. You will get bit by them while you're new. Nothing to be scared of, but eventually you'll learn to spot them. Got him. Nice shot. Oh, it is time to fight a dragon. Okay. Let me find a good place to fight. I think in this room here. Maybe like right up here. Might be an okay spot. Uh, and here we have a little bit of shenanigans we can pull. Let me go clear this already. Nice! Been working on the accuracy. Hey, the shot! And again, this game, look, it looks, everything looks a little bit different than the base game. We are playing with a, kind of like a reskin. Today. Fast attack speed, freezing, plus one strength. Or a grappling hook. Wow. I don't know if we'll make enough money. They're both $50. But we could try. I would love a grappling hook. Oh. Okay, remember, we do not want to fight around here and fall in these... Yep, like that. <laughs> yep. Uh, a lot of enemies will also instantly die if they land on those spikes. Trust me, this is a normal occurrence. While you're new in the game, you will be landing on those spikes. <laughs> More times than you would like to admit. Got him. I see another trap. This is an infamous one. I did not know I could shoot fireballs with the arrow. I learned something. Like I said, every time I play this game, I learn something new. Is he going up? See if I can get him to ground pound. Yep. Ah, oh, he got me while I was on the ground. Ah, he got me! There we go. Okay, he did get a blow in at the end there. We lost a little bit of HP. Nothing to be scared of. We're fine. We also got the boss's key. Every time you kill a boss uh, in the game, they will drop you a key, which we can then use to open the, pretty much the boss's chest, or we can go to a secret area, um, kind of like an alternate path. Ooh, some nice shoes. Vitality, fire resist would help before that boss, huh? We will also leave fire behind us. Very nice. Let's try some scrolls out. Okay, this scroll's allowing us to target. This might be identify, let's see. It is identify. Okay, now we know what this is. Potion of quickness. Let's also figure out what this is. Potion of vitality. Don't mind if I do. That'll increase our max HP. Um, you can see our max HP is now 100. We started with 80. Plus our equipment. There's the boss's chest. An early sword. Okay, okay. So you guys can already start to see all the charm and love in this game. Never knowing what you're going to run into, what kind of loot, what kind of items, special items, how you're going to build. Um, all, the, all the hard marks of, uh, of good roguelikes, right? Always keeping you on your toes. Looks like we can go like a burning type build here. Throw that bad boy on. 3 to 7 damage is also very nice. We'll take off the dagger for now. 
Let's put on a ring. I think you can have up to two rings. It's gold collector, intelligence. Okay, we're getting a lot of intelligence here. Let's go look at our stats. You can see already our intelligence. Maybe, uh, maybe we're gonna mix in magic. Maybe. We'll see what else we find. Take it slow. Okay. Um, Potion of quickness will save for now when we wanna run around. Uh, anything else we want to explore before we leave? We do have the shop. I think everything was $50. We're a little bit short. A little bit short. Hmm. There is the scholar. What books do we have? We have the elect... elect lance. Hello, elect, elect lance. It'll shoot like a thunderbolt. I don't think I'm going to be using it, though. Yeah. We're good to go. Anything that I wanted? No. We're out of here. So I'm gonna bring a bat with me to cook. Throughout the game, you're gonna find different creatures that you can bring with you to uh, cook at the campfire, which you'll be seeing in a little bit here. Nice. So the campfires will, will rest to gain some of our HP back. Um, this is also where we'll cash in all the XP that we got in the previous level and work towards level ups. So you can see we got our first level up here and here we get to go down the talent trees. Again, my campfire may look a little bit different than yours. That's just because I am using the uh, reskin mod. Uh, archery sounds good. We did just get a really good sword, though. Maybe we go, uh... Maybe we go shadows for now? And then we figure it out from there. I think acrobatics is also very, very good. I'll go acrobatics for now. Gonna give us the ability to roll, so we can roll through people in combat if we want to. These level transitions are so beautiful. This mod really did a good job. Very impressive. This is pretty much my first time playing with this mod. It's very beautiful. Nice transition. Alright, let me just take a sip of my tea here. already see the arrow trap again getting hit by all this stuff is fine it's part of the learning experience it will happen nice you can already see the burning happening from our new sword juicy oh god yep there's a bunch of traps here he's gonna walk in another one here pretty soon or jump over it it's a smart slime <laughs> Ooh, book of dash I will take that. I'm gonna go ahead and read that one. It's gonna we're gonna learn dash, which is gonna allow us to get to high places, dash out of harm's way. Sorry, buddy. Now, spoiler alert, we don't wanna kill too many of these worms until we're ready. You'll find out why soon. In case you are new to the game, I don't wanna spoil it. Ah, oh, nice stab. Ooh, secret wall. Boink. Whoa, that was a close oop. Not this time. Oh, you can hear what's coming. Yeah, the, the ground's starting to tremble. I'm out of here. Actually, we have a pretty good sword. I think we will do good in the fight that I'm trying to warn you guys about. This will be number two. Nice shot. Oh, on the fall! <laughs> Jumping on his head also burned him. That's interesting. It's oh, cause a trailblazer. Right, right, right. Yeah, we we have a fire build going. Watch this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that went so beautiful. That was awesome. Oh, holy God. Okay. Let's find a good spot to fight. Hey, this okay. This is not a good spot to fight. That's a lot of spikes. Okay. This is gonna aggro the boss. I'm pretty sure. Yep. And now time for boss number two. Let's fight over here somewhere. Here he comes. We better be ready. Oh, this mod does such a beautiful job. It looks so good. Yeah, that burn is really nice. Good damage. All right. Where's he coming from? He's coming from the right. We're gonna try to get him to shoot at us here. Yep. 
And then we're gonna run it. Nice, quick kill. Again, I thought we were pretty suited for the fight. We did find a really good early loot uh, with this sword. Very powerful, the extra burning damage. We're in a good place. Okay, let's go see what some of this other equipment is. Hopefully nothing cursed. Okay. Shocking axe, okay. Shoes. Also a trailblazer. This one coming with two luck and a defense, and we're trading vitality and fire resist. Um, you know what? I am down for that trade. This game has some cool quality of life. If you want to see what all the stats do, you can see here. Uh, for instance, luck is going to increase our critical rate, our evasion rate, and our chance-based effects. So the chances that we set them on fire will go up. Um, a little bit later, it'll also proc some other things. That sounds pretty nice to me. Okay, now that we don't have to worry about that guy, let's go explore. Hey, it's the damsel. The dragon slayer freezing with some luck on it. Huh. That is a nice sword. I do not think we'll be buying it. That amulet, on the other hand, also has a demonic familiar on it. Do we have an amulet yet? We do not. You know what? You got yourself a deal. There's a couple reasons why we also want to do some early purchases, especially if there's cheap stuff. Um, buying stuff early, um, every, there's a certain threshold that will upgrade the shop. So once you buy one thing, the next shop will actually be upgraded. Uh, when you buy three things, the following shops will be upgraded. And then when you buy six things, the following shops will be upgraded. So there's reasons to buy some early stuff. How am I supposed to get up there? <laughs> Um, is this freeze by any chance? Nope. Oh, we have dash. Yeah. Now you guys can see why I love dash so much. It's nice to have a, uh, it's nice to have something for movement and get to high places and stuff like that. So you can see why I was happy. I think dash is just a nice thing, especially until you get, um, is this a secret wall? How about there? No, that's just the other side, I guess. We'll go around. Um, unless you get, like, a, a movement option. Um, sometimes your gloves allow you to climb. Maybe an early grappling hook. Things like that. Um, I like to have dash just in case. And those are the kind of the reasons why. There's also a lot of other ways to get up there. Um, you know, if we had some certain magic. Stuff like that. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Alright, I do want to save that turkey if I can. As in not kill him. <laughs> Remember I was telling you guys that you will die on those spikes? It's inevitable. Yeah, it kind of just happens sometimes. Man, that was such a good start, too. <laughs> All right, edit this part out. No, I'm just kidding. Um, We'll run it back. We'll start again. You guys will get a bonus run. Oh, man. It happens. That was such a good sword, too. That was a really good starting sword. We'll run the same character. We'll try again. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Again, it's just, you know, something to take. I, you know, there's no reason to die there, but I slipped up. It happens. Alright, now we get to see what this run has in store for us. For instance, an early strength potion. That is very good. There's also a nice axe in there, but I don't think we'll make enough money. But who knows? Man, that's so funny. Alright, chat. I don't want to, I don't, we don't talk about this. No one post about it. I don't want to see it in the comments. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> We forget that ever happened. All right, the gun, the run should make up for it and give me some good armor. Eh, eh, eh. Hello. <laughs> Beware of spikes noted. Ooh, dash. Flame pillar, okay. We might learn Flame Pillar. We'll see if we find some early intelligence or something. And an early boss. I'm gonna go ahead and see what these shoes are gonna give us. Hopefully they're not cursed. Floor phasing and fire resist. I believe that'll allow me to fall through the floor here. Yeah, that is so cool. There's a lot of cool mechanics in this uh, in this game with these items. Oh, he's, he's angry. 
Yeah, he's a okay. Nice shot. Ah, I did not think he was going to jump. The jump? Where? Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know he can lunch up here. That was awesome. Okay. Now we know. Right, you're stressing me out. I'm sorry. One more and a dash. There we go. Not bad, not bad at all. Huh. Come on, hook me up. Hook a guy up. Now we're talking. We got a unique, a purple. Spell cost reduction, luck and defense. Purple is usually like a, uh, kind of like a legendary, essentially. Legendary item, okay. Usually comes with special properties, things like that. I don't know the full extent of what this does, the luck and defense, but I don't know if it has any other properties, like using spells is sometimes free, maybe? Token spell cost reduction. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we do grab flame pillar then, in that case? Let's read some books. We now have flame pillar. Check it out. Yeah, actually, we had 10 charges. I used it. And we still have 10 charges. So I think sometimes they're free. Or is it every other time they're free? Yeah, I think it has a random chance to be free sometimes. Cool. So that's what that legendary does. Always learning. Early bow. Okay, game. Okay. Three to seven damage. Weightless arrows. I'm guessing that means that they can go, uh, they don't have like a, they just go infinitely straight. You can like shoot it across the whole map, I think. Let's see. Yep. Very nice. And giving us two intelligence, so. Buffing our, uh, our magic abilities a little bit. Happy with that. We got an, um, the, uh, the smith here. We're allowed to drop gear. And eventually, uh, we'll trade it in and have a chance to... Uh, for that to drop other gear for us. Is this a secret wall? Yep. Gotta watch out for this guy. Do 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 do. Man, I've been enjoying this game so much. It's just so fun, man. Something about it. So we were $4 short of getting the axe. I don't know if I would have bought it anyway. I will definitely take the strength potion. Again, buying this is doing multiple things. Um, that'll be our first purchase to upgrade the next shop. Um, it's also identifies that potion for us. So the next time we find it, we'll know what it is because we know it's a strength potion now. So it's also identifying a potion for us and getting an early strength is just really strong. So we got a lot of bang for our buck there. Again, I realize a lot of you watching this could be uh, also familiar with this game and redundant information, but there's also going to be a lot of new people checking this out, so figured I'll help them out, get them started. Uh, time to go. Let's cook us up an eyeball. There we go. Got our health back and got our first level up. We'll do the same thing. We'll go acrobatic. This time without the beautiful sword. I mean, what? All right. Beware of spikes. Heard. Nice jump. Uh, since we are on the left of the map, let's go explore over here real quick. Yep. I like the lance. I don't think we'll be using that one. Not this time. I don't believe. It's an angry fish. Whoa, what are you doing hiding your shop in here? It's another freezing axe. A lot of axes so far. So you can see how the shop is upgraded. We actually can pick between three things now. And again, that early purchase is very nice. <laughs> oh, 
I wouldn't mind buying one of these chess pieces. We'll see if we make $70. Got him. Let's go down here real quick. Oof. Yep. Yeah. I don't think there's anything down here for us. I would like that gold, but... Let's make sure there's not a secret wall here. Hiya! Oh, facing the wrong way. Still using my basic dagger? Let's see, what ring did we get? Reflex projectiles, okay. We'll take that, we'll take that. Before the next boss, I would love to, uh... Find a weapon here. Ugh. Drop this on his head. Nice! <laughs> oh, I'm surprised that didn't kill him. Beware of spikes, SD. So the tricks of these little jumps actually is you just want to hold forward. Um, while you're new, you might have it, uh, it might be instinct to jump across these, but you'll actually have an even harder time and probably die. You just want to hold forward here. Life feet could be good. Just like that. Nice jumping attack. <laughs> he almost had me. Hey, found the damsel. Hold down and hit right bumper. We'll pick her up. If you are playing with a controller like myself. There's a dragon over there, so I'm going to try to leave her out of harm's way. Um, let's actually go put her here for now. You wait there for me. Okay, I don't know how prepared we are for this dragon. Is this identify? It is identify. Nice. Potion of dexterity? I'll take it. I don't think we have anything too strong to use here. It's a bit unfortunate. We'll probably just use our arrows, and uh, if we could set up for a flame pillar, we could use that as well. Maybe this will have something. Hmm. We are fighting by water in case we do get set on fire, which is nice. Watching for the fireballs. See if I can get him to ground pound. Got him. Okay. Good fight. Flawless victory. Got the key. Let's go get the damsel. The damsels do a couple things in this game. Um, you know, there's a lot of like cool quirks and stuff that you can do with them, but mainly if you get them to the exit and bring them, uh, they will hang out by your campfire for the rest of the run and increase the amount of HP you get when you rest at a campfire. Uh, sometimes you can also do some alternate stuff with them. <laughs> Hello, chicken. Cool, we also have a chicken to cook. Oh, what is that? Hold on to that. The chicken we actually want alive. Do I have anything I want to throw in here? Go grab the damsel. We have the damsel, the chicken, and I'm pretty sure we full explored. We wanted 70 something dollars for the shop. We did not make enough money. Let's go. Cool. 
Nice. Upgraded the campfire, so now we have, uh, I think we got 25 peel per campfire instead of 20. We also cooked the chicken. We'll save that for later. <laughs> Sometimes I feel bad. There's a couple little things we can do in there. Um, we could also drop books and stuff like that into the fire if we needed additional healing. If we didn't want the book anyway. Let's see what this is. Shock and dexterity. Sure. I don't have a chest piece on anyway. Put the stuff I have equipped down here. Uh, what was this? Do we know what this is? Uh, okay, okay. That was the other chest piece. Onward. So far, so good. What about my level up? Another acrobatics? Cool. So now we can roll and we have wall jump. So we can jump off walls as well. Scale walls, things like that. Slide down walls. Beautiful. I always like to have a movement option. You can see this time is a little bit different. We're going to... Fight the worm is our third area here. Oh boy. Let's not trigger him yet. I want to see if we can get... Oh, I was going to say, let's see if I can get a better weapon. What did I find here? One to six damage. Fairy magic. Very fast dexterity and intelligence. Okay. It's a lot better than what we were using. That's for sure. I don't know about you guys. I like to keep my inventory clean when I can. <laughs> Makes me feel better. Got him. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't counting the amount of worms I killed. You know what? Maybe we use an early bomb here. We'll see. I think actually since we found this weapon, we might be okay. So right now, I'm just trying to create safe space. So I have a good place to fight him. Where is he? There he is. What are you doing over there? Nice. Hey. He looks so cool. Let's grab this book. Frost Nova. I will take that. Oh, God. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Let's also remember that we have Firewall. See, he's coming back up. Ah, uh, swing and a miss. Okay. Now we also have Frost Nova. Let's see. Oh, I reflected it back at him. Okay. He's dead. He did get away. Um, so when he gets away, but he is considered dead, he will come back and then um, die and drop us the key. There he is. Good fight. I knew he was dead because, uh, one, the animation he makes, but two, uh, we got all the XP, which is the bar at the bottom of the screen. Hello, friend. Oh, wow, that is a very powerful emulet. Has a lot of stats on it, also has death protection, which is extremely powerful. Anytime we die, um, it'll bring us back to life at 50%, so very, very strong. I like the tunes, friend. Freezing Aura. Do we have a mask yet? We do not. Let's see how much more money we get. I tried. Sometimes I just want to see if I can hit the shot. The deranged. Okay. Deranged, we can kind of just throw random stuff in. And, uh, it could do, like, literally- oh, HOLY GOD! So I believe that's kind of like a loot goblin. Um, he runs around, attacks you, runs away, all kinds of shenanigans, tries to steal your stuff. 
I'm gonna do a little trick here to get this loot. I want all the loot. There we go. Hollow dagger. What do you got for me? Life steal. Whoa. Okay. Don't mind if I do. I wonder. I think. I think that will. Uh, Dex will probably affect that. I mean, uh, luck will probably affect that as well. Oops, sorry. Clicked out. There we go. I also want to see what these uh, wands do that I have. Nice shots. Good crit. Alright. Let's see if we can try this out on him. Okay. See what this one does. Nice. Is this the life steal? It is. Mimic. Mimic. I actually never noticed the mimic before before opening it. That was my first time. I forgot we have floor phasing. I think that's it. Uh, we have enough money now that we killed that uh, loot goblin dude, right? To buy some loot. There was something I wanted. I don't remember what. Oh yeah, that. The amulet. Yeah, you got yourself a deal. That is a very... That'll be probably the amulet that we rock for most of the run here. We also have a book to burn. I'm gonna go in here and get some early stats. Ugh. Show me your skill. I wonder what stat we got. That's fine now, because we do have a, a chicken. Um, so we're gonna get some of the health back. We saved the damsel from the last floor, so I think we'll get some good health. Uh, I won't be able to carry that up. Actually, can I wall jump and hold that guy? I'm not really sure. Let's see. Nope. Off we go. Hello, friend. Okay. We can burn this book as well for health. Nice. And another acrobatics, giving us 20% chance to evade attacks. And then I think our dex stat will also... I mean, our luck stat. I keep saying dex. I think our luck stat will also help that. Dex increases your attack speed and damage, especially with ranged weapons. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cool. We do have a lifesteal dagger. Pretty happy about that. Woodsman axe. Oh god. These plants are scary. The trick that I like to do is try to get them in a good position and then get to the base. Oof. We might have to go around. I don't think this is a good angle for us. Ugh. Did that burn their arrow? I'm pretty sure that blocks their arrows. I just learned something else new. Oh, they're eating somebody. What are the chances that I hit this? No. Hmm. I actually can hit the base here. It takes a lot of damage if you hit the base of them. That's the trick. Nice. Ah, oh, this game is so beautiful. Should we try the deranged? All right, I'll do it for you. I'll do it for the YouTube homies. It's 
figure out if we have a bad potion. Let's use some of these scrolls. Uh, I think this is identify. Nope, that's enchant. Uh, knowing that's enchant, I'm gonna throw that right on my uh, amulet that I plan on carrying with me the whole time. What we got here? Okay, we have uncurse. This is identify. Regeneration. That's a very good potion to find. We're gonna put this at the top here. Featherfall. Um, they can have this plate. Let's see. Alright. Don't do anything bad to me, please. This thing is pure, like, random. Anything can happen. It can do crazy things. Good, bad. He's in my wall. Again, we do have that legend. Oh, wait, is this the one with the legendary? Nice. I'm pretty sure that blocks arrows. We should try that again, just to, cause that would be something else I learned during this run. I'm always learning something in this game, always. It's kind of like Splunky in that way. Oh wait, that arrow went through though, so I'm not too sure. We need a better example. So. The light is pretty cool. I can drop some coins in it for a chance to, a random chance to heal. I think it's, you know, for anywhere from like one to 20 something is what I hear. I usually get like three heal from it. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Wait, did it work again? I can't tell. It does work. It does. That's sick. Gotcha. Nice. Okay, that's another uh, another little trick, another little utility. Oh boy, here we go. Party time. It stops them as well, I think. Oh my god, guys, we're taking too much damage. A revive. Weird spot. That's what I get for trying new things. The freeze is working very well. I create some space. It's gonna shoot him out. There we go. Cool. I was gonna say, he should be almost dead. Okay, not great, not great. Got caught in a bad position. I was trying to mess around with the flame wall to see like what new stuff we could do. It does seem like it's very good for def as a defensive option. Um. But then when I went to run away from the boss, we went right into a plant's mouth. That was actually insane. What are the odds of that? But yeah, you just never know. I, I you know, I should have also had this scouted before I just blindly jumped in. Um, there's a couple different things wrong there. But hey, our amulet saved us. It's gone now, unfortunately. Whoa! But we got instantly rewarded with another legendary. Timing jumps for unlimited mid-air jump, so as long as we time it correctly, we could just jump forever. Okay. Maybe we come back. Maybe we can come back. Damage to gold. Okay. We still have our chicken to eat. It's not over not over let's go drop some loot in here and see what happens maybe we'll get lucky it 
take this. I've never got a random item from him before. I've got all types of stuff. This is very nice shoes, except we sink like a stone. <laughs> um, we'll rock them for now. Let's just keep in mind that if I go near water, I'm pretty sure I'm going to sink. <laughs> we also got a crossbow, actually. Let's... Wait, let's... Deck speed strength. That is very nice. Okay, so the thing to realize with a crossbow is after end of every shot, we will have to charge it back up. It's usually on the stronger side, but you do have to reload it. Man, I can't believe we jumped right into that plant's mouth. That's what I love about roguelikes, man. You just never know. That was so cool. Oh god, I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! I didn't mean to roll into there! Sir! Sir, sir! No! Sir! It was an accident! Oh no, I made him mad. I guess I'm taking his loot. Sir, I didn't mean it. Oh no, I'm throwing. <laughs> so it says stolen. I, I wonder if I didn't take any of these items, if he would ever forgive me. a very nice word. I think we're in trouble. I don't think he's ever going to forgive us. I think this guy will heal me. Uh-oh. Oh, he made me berserk mode. Okay. I'm going to pay for some heal. A nine there. I think that's it. All right, this has been uh, this has been interesting. <laughs> this has been very interesting. A lot of bad things happening to us. Potion of intelligence. Nice. Potion of dexterity. Okay, we can come back here. We can come back. We just gotta believe. We believe hard enough. I gotta use my level up. Wish we didn't piss off the shopkeeper. What the? Hi. I don't have the stats for this. Okay. Well, there's today's session. <laughs> it's not in the cards. That is crazy. Oh, man. I can't believe I pissed him off. He's so tough. I should have just ran. I should have just avoided him instead of forcing the fight when I didn't have good gear. That was that was probably our first mistake. You know, funny enough, we were getting a lot of crazy stats, good potions and stuff like that in the beginning here. But um, the the kind of like blast boss into piranha mistake plus pissing off the shopkeeper. Now I learned to be careful by rolling by the shopkeeper because we rolled right into uh, behind the counter um, into the back room and he does not like that. 
I I wonder if I didn't steal anything if he would still be mad in the next area. I'm actually not sure. Man, what a bummer. Um, but yeah, you guys can start to see the reasons why I just love this game, man. It's just absolutely beautiful. Even without this uh, visual mod, by the way, the game is absolutely beautiful. Um, I love all the loot. I love the intricate systems. I mean, we were just scratching the surface here. Um, so there'll definitely be more episodes. Don't worry. Uh, but at least this is enough to get you guys started. Give you a little bit of the beginner tips, stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get it going. It's so funny because when we were playing on stream today, we were flying through this game, killing all types of bosses. And then here, I just had to do a YouTube exclusive for you guys, and we get some crazy stuff happening to us. <laughs> this was pretty nice, too. We also had the, uh, what is it, the lifesteal dagger? Unfortunately, we just could not get it going. We even used our early revive token. Yeah. Um. All right, let's jump back. You can see I got another unlock here. Disciple of the Scholar. Oh, why do I keep taking screenshots? Disciple of the Scholar. Interesting. All right, guys, that's Vagante. There will be some better episodes, I promise. This was just like more of an introduction. Plus, I really wanted to check out this uh, reskin mod. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know down in the comments if you want more. If you want the next videos to focus on more tips on fighting bosses and, uh, you know, more of the deeper mechanics. Or do you want just like kind of like gameplay um, and you guys want to see further biomes and stuff like that? I'm curious as to what you guys want to see. So definitely let me know. I'm assuming we're going to get people of all types, especially since a lot of people are going to be learning about the game um, pretty soon because of the console release. But uh, we'll see how it goes. If you did like this video, please let us know. Like, kiss it, do all those cool things. Um, and until next time, SD out. Later, guys.